Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'm John Capora, managing editor of magic.tcgplayer.com, and it's Monday. You know what that means. Time to count down the best selling singles of the past week and make some sense out of what everyone bought. Here we go. Chart, of course, is a better rate on drawing two cards than we've seen in a while, and there are plenty of aggressive standard decks that trigger raid just fine. I actually played against a Teamer Energy deck at Nationals that played Charter Course, and it seemed pretty good there. A longtime friend of mine, Brian Gottlieb, has a podcast with Jerry Thompson. On last week's episode, Brian asked Jerry how Teamer Energy could be beat. Ever the enigma, Jerry replied, Marionette Master is dope treasure map is sweet that was it that was all he said and i and many many tcg player buyers can verify that treasure map is indeed sweet blue green merfolk looks like it's for real netting a top four finish at last weekend's modern open and kumena's speaker is the best power and toughness rate the deck has Field of Ruin is going to continue to be a tricky inclusion in one and two color decks that serves a ton of different purposes Field of Ruin can destroy an opposing utility land, fix your mana, and trigger revolt. That is a lot of stuff, and the fact that it doesn't even occupy a spell slot in your deck is just gravy. Merfolk Branchwalker also played a part in Blue Green Merfolk's top four finish, duplicating the efforts of Silver Gill Adept with the additional upside of potentially growing to a 3 2 for just two mana. Ixalan has definitely reshaped one of modern's oldest and best archetypes. Spell Pierce is starting to see some play in Teamer Energy sideboards as players start packing Confiscation Coup and Rivers Rebuke. All those expensive sorceries are perfect cards to Spell Pierce. A couple Mardu vehicles lists surfaced over the weekend, all playing Unclaimed Territory, presumably to name Dwarf, in order to power out early veteran motorists and toolcraft exemplars. I like when cards from the present synergize with stuff from the past, and now all that's left for these vehicles decks to do is play Depala and go full-on Dwarf Tribal. Who's with me? Opt isn't the number one card anymore. Holy smokes. What could have possibly happened? Kitesail Freebooter's been all over the place, from the modern open winning human tribal deck to blue-black control and mid-range decks in standard. It's a pushed version of a type of card that's been around since Torment, and this iteration is just too good to ignore. However, the number one selling card from the weekend is Sunbird's Invocation. My only experience with this card is getting utterly trounced by it in a game of Ixalan Limited, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty good then. A white-red Approach the Second Sun deck made top 16 at US Nationals and it featured Sunbird's Invocation. People dig fresh takes on old archetypes and Sunbird's Invocation is definitely a spicy one. That about does it for this week's top 10, but fear not, we do one of these every Monday, and until then, you can watch gameplay videos and deck techs from the game's best pros. We've got Seth Manfield, Brian Bronduin, Raph Levy, and more. So subscribe to our YouTube page, and I will see you next time.